falling down. down. It's, it's the Johnny O. Johnson Show. Where everybody's screaming Jesus. It's oh, the yeah. Johnny O. Johnson Show. That's Bizzle, and you know, act like you know, you know, you know. I love that you. song. DJ KB on the ones and twos. You're listening to DFWIRadio.com, and it is now time for our five minute discussion, which is usually over five minutes, but that's okay. It's just for the title's sake. Yeah. All right. It's brought to you, this uh, particular five-minute uh, discussion is brought to you by the 2013 Healing and Deliverance Conference, Crushing the Devil. That's happening August 8th, 9th, and 10th at the Mount Olive Church of Plano. It's in Plano. For more information, just call 972-633-5511. Time out for the discussion. Y'all ready for it? I'm ready. It's been a busy week in the news, so let's just... Let's just get right to it. Y'all know what we want to talk about. Let's talk about Paula Dean first. Paula Dean is losing it all. Yes, he is, sir. Everybody's dropping her. Sears, J.C. Penney's, uh, Walmart, Food Network, Food Network, the casino restaurant. They all just shut the door. Hold on, hold on. And the diabetes. Yeah, the even the too. look, even the diabetes folks have got rid of. Them. Yeah. Yes. QVC put her on hold, said we're going to just, we're going to suspend, su- suspend it for a little bit and maybe get back with you. Hey, but her book is doing real good. No, they ain't even going to publish it. What? They don't need pre-orders and everything. They're not going to publish it. Word. Oh, I done missed that. Okay. <laughs> they ain't even going to publish it, man. That's good. So the pre-orders don't even make a difference. You better learn you can't treat black people wrong and talk about it like that. And you stop. You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm talk about this, man. You know, y'all y'all ain't gonna like me hundred percent on this, but let's refresh her. Let her know what she did, man. Okay. Paula Abdul <laughs> Not Paula Abdul No Not My, uh, I'm all off today. Paula Abdul is no longer with American Idol. It's okay. Paula, it's Paula Dean, brother. Paula <laughs> Dean. Paula Dean is uh you know, she you know what she's known for. She's known for um, cooking, southern cuisine cooking. She uh, she lives in Augusta, Georgia. And uh, folks know her, you know, she's like the mom, the lady in the kitchen. I mean, black folk, white folk, everybody loves Paula Dean. Well, she they, she a... sells the pots and pans at Walmart. Y'all know the Paula Dean will cook where? Everybody know all that. But anyway, let me put it to you like this. She ended up being, uh, I guess, sued, and she was taken to court. And while being uh, on, on going through a trial and testifying, the transcript showed that she admitted to using the N-word in her past. And that got out publicly, and looks like it took her too long to apologize because she apologized. It took so long, people ended up uh, just—I mean, they just bailed out on her. Yep. She said the she said the YouTube apology. Yep. But then, come on, that that's little league. That's little league. Hold on. A YouTube apology. But then they pulled up an earlier interview that she was doing with the New York Times. That was back in 2011, and she was talking about how she had this young man that's in her life because, you know, she said she took him in and stuff like that. But she was calling old boy up. She was like, hey, we can't see you because you're so black against that black board. Like, really? You don't say that to black people? On, on, on the Internet? I can't see you because you're so black because you're standing against the black board? Really? And then she called him... Okay, I see you, man. Hold on, hold on. Then she called old boy, hello, I see mother. you, man. You, you got some racial issues going on in your life. Man. <laughs> I wouldn't even go in there, but I'm going to let you. He, he can have an have um, upset at Paula Dean perspective. I'm going to get it to you like this. Paula Dean, I, in my mind, that's somebody I know you probably use the N-word in their house. I'm just clear on that. I mean, that's just my thought. When I, If I was to go over a house and eat dinner and I leave something on the table, I'm going to leave that going. She can call me the N-word. She hey. said, I'm glad I got them ends out of my house. But I just that's just the way I feel about it. So it ain't no surprise to me. Now, um, hold on. Yeah. While you're eating her, she's going to have some brothers and sisters dress up as slaves for you, too. So let's go there. Are you just really trying to paint her as a bad woman, man. I'm, I'm sorry, we in the South she, people. I done experienced some things. Is she as bad as you make her? Man, you see what's happening, dog. Okay. You can't treat people, black people like that, plain and simple. Okay. I know we, right. we Okay, well, let me, on, ask, let me ask you the tough question, then. Let me ask you the tough question. Go ahead. We can't treat black people like that, but it's okay if we call each other that. I guess that's just the law. Hey, I'm not saying that it's right. We can call each other. We can call each other the N word, but no, nobody outside our race better not ever. No. Well, what about uh, everybody should just drop that word, plain and simple. 
is a, is a derogatory meaning. It's supposed to demean black folks and make us uh, feel less than human. So well, you might it, as well but, Here's the interesting thing <laughs> from the uh, George Zimmerman trial. According to the testimony of uh, Rachel Gentile, uh, she said that Trayvon used the N-word in reference to, to Mr. George Zimmerman. Yes, he did. He called him the N word, and he called him the A, uh, uh, the, the the C A, the C A C. Called him a, a saltine. The creepy, the creepy cracker. The the, the saltine. That's what you called him, the creepy cracker. But I can't say everything because you know we, you know, it's radio. Hey, you be talking about food. I ain't, I ain't even gonna say that, but but he he called him, but he called him, but he used both words. But but, but the point, it. but the point I'm saying is, 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 is simple. Paula Dean. <laughs> probably needs to uh, really talk and travel the country and really make a good example out of, you know, race relations and making a big point towards that. She should do that. She should do it. You don't think so, huh? No. Come on over here then, because she got something she wants to say. She <laughs> talking, so come on over here. What's your problem? What, what do we need to do with Paula Dean? Because I really want to know. What do you do with Paula Dean? Hold on, let me give a little introduction. This is Community Bird. Yeah, this is my family member, my cousin. She up in here. Don't do your thing, man. Don't All right, talk to me. Now tell me something. Why should she apologize for something she probably do on a daily basis? Why? Because she got caught? Well, I'm saying because it's becoming such a discussion and with all this attention on her, this kind of stuff will divide the country. You know, it's going to be some people that's going to be like, y'all ain't need to do her like that. Y'all wrong for that. Everybody done fired her over there? Come on now. Now, I do agree with that. I don't feel like she should have been fired. That's what I'm saying. It's... I mean, she said she's from the South. <laughs> she in her 60s, so I'm pretty okay. sure she probably say that often. Okay. All right. All right. I'm pretty uh -huh. sure, she got, uh -huh. sure she got some money saved up, too, so it shouldn't be hurting her that bad. No, she she losing a lot of money, man. I know she is. A $16 million she was supposed to get with, uh, I believe, Sears. She loses a lot. She loses a lot of money, man. But anyway, that's, that's Paula Dean. Y'all y'all, y'all, figure out what y'all going to do with Paula Dean. I'm tired of hearing about her. Just gonna be honest with you, it, it, you know. It, okay, she just said the N word a long time ago, and she tried to get some slaves to serve at party. Okay, fine. <laughs> but at this point, you know, I'm 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 really tired of it. Uh, let me just say this, man. Yeah. It's it's a lot of race relations problems that we're having in the South, plain and simple. I think that we all should just like hate to use this brother like that, Rodney King. We all should just get along because this is America. Everybody's supposed to be here in an ideal days. world, brother. I know it's an ideal world because we don't we don't understand each other, man. We just don't. That's a divide. Can't you tell that through the George Zimmerman trial? Yeah. The George Zimmerman trial is clearly showing that there is a disconnect between white and black people. Not even. And that. this this look this ain't even a a trial. Listen to me now. This is not even a trial about a black man against a white man. This is a Hispanic against a black guy. Come on. And we still having a racial conversation when the case is a Hispanic and a black guy. So that ought to tell you how much trouble we are in in that relationship between white and black people. Not only that, but you got places like um, lobbyists like Alec. Alec um, pushed, I'm sorry, through lobbying, pushed a lot of racist and discriminated laws through Congress because they was buying off these people and they pushed that legislation and it got passed. Like stand your ground, but in Dallas, it's, well, in Texas, it's called Castle Doctrine. Mm -hmm. So you got these laws that are made to protect. Yeah, yeah um, the, castle, the castle law meaning you had a right to shoot somebody. Yeah. Protect and, not only just yourself, but your neighbor's house is it you know the dude, the old white dude that, that. that shot the um, Yeah, he Mexican chased dudes. him, he went out there and killed him. Yeah, and he yeah. got out. Yeah. But yet you got Texas. But yet you got a woman in South Florida that's getting beat by her husband, she get the gun and shooting the ceiling, she get twenty years. It's laws that are created to discriminate. You don't, you don't, want, me, you don't want me to speak on that. You don't, you don't you're saying that but you're leaving out the important part. What's the important part? A good attorney. Good attorney? <laughs> Money. You're leaving that part out. You got a good attorney, you could be a cockroach and get off. But I'm way, serious. I mean, a good, listen, I've seen it. That's I'm not talking about what I don't know. I'm talking about what I know. When somebody can cut a $15,000, $20,000 check 
Yeah. And get a good attorney. They go and negotiate for you and they make life a lot easier. We ain't we 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 in there on the you know with the with the with the point of a, a court appointed a lawyer who who ain't done no research, ain't trying to do none, ain't gonna do none, and you gonna be stuck up. And that's the reality. And I I, I don't wanna, you know, because that's what's the difference between the court system is that some people have money and some people don't. And that's just what it is. So you think George Zimmerman and Paula Dean got a good lawyer? I think I, I, I think with George Zimmerman, I mean, he got good quality lawyers on his camp. But again, this is a national story. They see an opportunity to get some national exposure. There are people making donations to him and making sure he has funds in order to fight this case. Because trust me, if this had been a case about us, it'd have been over in two days. It'd have been over in two days. One, one or two witnesses and deliberation and guilty. Well, we'd be hanging from the guilty. You'd be looking at like, what I do? What I do? No! George Zimmerman trial went over three weeks! Why mine only two days? <laughs> this court appointed attorney! I should have got some money I should have saved up. But that's it. All right, that's a five minute discussion that takes well over five minutes. It's the Antonio Johnson Show, DMWI Radio.